All right, head coach Gary Fashion, quarterback Jackson Erdman, uh, linebacker Daniel Petrzewski. Coach, we'll start with an opening statement and then open things up for questions. Um, first of all, I'd like to congratulate We do great football team. Uh, we do that coming in. You know, watch the tape of them of their last three games. Uh, they are a really good football team on both sides of the football. Even when we were up 21-7 at halftime, I told our guys this game's not over because they're going to mount a comeback. Uh, and uh, they certainly did. Uh, yeah, fortunately, I, I, I'm so proud of our football team because uh, we were on our heels a little bit in that second half, but we never gave up. And, and uh, Jackson made some great plays, uh, individual plays that, that uh, got us back on the scoreboard in the second half, and, th and those were really key. And then we made just enough plays on defense and had a little luck on our side at the end there, maybe with a, with a missed extra point. But uh, Again, I can't uh, say enough about our, our players and the way they've prepared uh, to get to this point and um, uh, to be one of the final four teams. We're obviously excited and looking forward to next week. Jackson, that final drive by Wheaton, the, the whole drama of the extra points, what are you thinking? What are your emotions during that time? Yeah, a lot of emotions. Oh. You know, the whole time I'm watching the clock, thinking like, you know, always just trying to think worst case scenario. You know, like we score, okay, we want to have a plan for offense, what we're going to do. So watching that clock, seeing how much time we get, see them running the ball so we know they're winding it down, they don't want to get it again. So, you know, just, just you know, like, we knew it was going to come down to defense at the end, whether or not it'd be going to overtime or, um, you know, maybe they wouldn't go for two. Anyway, so just having the defense's back, training them on, you know. It, it, it was madness at the end, but defense came up flush. They had the number one defense in the nation. You guys came out and scored two touchdowns on them real quick. Were you guys surprised by that? Or you, no. you had that? No, you know, the, all week we talked, and you know, the, the only reason they're the number one team in the defense is because they haven't played us yet. You know, we had that mindset going in. We're a confident offense. We, defense has got our backs. Um, so, you know, that, that was in the game plan, and, you know, we came on and executed. And uh, on defense, you guys uh, slowed them down pretty well in the first half. What, what was working for you there? Yeah, the first half we just came out and used our speed, I think, to our advantage. Uh, we knew they were big up front, but we could beat them with speed and we got to our gaps when we kind of shut down that run at the start there. And then our DBs just made plays when they had to uh, over the top. So, yeah, I think we, just our speed really helped us in that, that first half. This is the first semifinal appearance for St. John since 2003. What are you guys' thoughts, emotions about that? Excited. Excited. Yeah, very you know? excited. Uh, at the start of this playoff run, we know we knew we, knew we had one goal, we got to take it one game at a time. And, you know we're just that much closer, so we're wherever we want to be. And uh, third quarter, when Wheaton comes back and ties it up, what are you guys thinking? Are you guys getting worried at all, or are you guys thinking you can turn it around? I, I wouldn't say worried too much. Um, you know, offense we weren't really executing. But I wasn't taking some of the underneath stuff that was there, so you know I wasn't getting down on. It. I just knew we had to do what we do. You know, in the first half, get back to that. Um, and we put the defense in a tough position field-wise, so you know, just had to keep getting some drives going, score some points, which we did. Um, so yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't feeling too like, nervous or anything. Can I ask you about that touchdown pass to Robbie that he caught on his back in the end zone? Yeah. Did you see it at all? And I, well, any time Robbie has one-on-one -on -one coverage, it's a good look, you know. <coughs> um, and then especially I saw he broke and the defense fell. I saw, I saw he was falling as I was throwing it, so I was throwing him regardless. And then yeah, Robbie made a great adjustment to it and a great play on it. So, yeah, it was nuts. He doesn't make catches like that all the time, does he? Yeah, he he's a stud. He's a stud. Yeah. So if I put it up anywhere within like a 10 yard radius, you know, I know I'll come down with it. He's been making some incredible catches since day one. So, But the key is Jackson putting them where he, only he can catch them too, which is a, that's a big part of it. And that starts with the whole line too, yep. the rest time. So it's a unit. That's why they call us a team. <laughs> Coach, how good was Jackson today? He's been incredible, you know, his whole career here. And uh, what he's done, not just this year, but last year, uh, uh, it's unprecedented. Uh, I mean, he, he's set a record uh, in, our, in our league and certainly in our program. So, um, you know, I, I said in the paper the, last, the other day that uh, he's the bell cow of his football team. He's the leader of it, and uh, he proves it week in and week out. And uh, today was no exception. He did a great job. And that starts with you know, the coaching, coaching, the scout team giving us great look all week, offensive line, daily time, running backs, where she's trying to make a plays. And deep like a small sense of team. So do it. Um, yeah. Irvin, in the final few seconds of the game, you know, it really came down to that 
those final few seconds. What's going through your mind as you're sitting there on the sidelines? Probably wishing you could do something, but knowing that you can't. Yeah, I hate waiting. I yeah. just want to know if it's going to be overtime. Okay, let us go. If it's, if it's going to be game over, it's just put into it. So it's a lot of, I don't know, I just don't like waiting. I just like going. Um, but yeah, there are penalties and stuff. It's just, it's just madness, craziness. And then every quarterback seems to have their kind of, I think I heard Drew Brees going through his like four, four steps or whatever, you know, like once he gets the ball and he is going through his mind. Do you have a process? Oh yeah, you know, it's just progression based on, we, we always have different route concepts. Um, so it just depends on what the defense is in, like just going through my reads and taking what they give us. So it just depends on every play, it's a little different. It's going to have a good right back in the summer. Yeah, that's what he's doing. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.